Welcome to Exploring. This video is all about remote events. Hey guys and welcome back to this brand new video on my YouTube channel and in this new series we will be exploring Roblox Studio together, hence the name Exploring for this series. And you might be wondering, newbie, I know how Roblox Studio works, um, what? But we're going to be explaining everything in detail. And that's really cool, of course. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell to get notifications, which is really cool, you know. And if you want to become my member, get some perks, click the blue join button down below and find out. So basically, today we will be exploring remote events. And you might be wondering, newbie, as I said, I already know how it works. So basically, the, the, the series is mostly meant for new people, but if you already know how things work, this could be uh, so useful to you. So just make sure to watch, and um, you might, you, you're just going to be cool, you know? You're already cool. So let's get talking about remote events. For demonstration, we will be using replicated storage for our remote event. As you can see, a remote event is just some kind of lightning rod with some kind of Oh, I don't know what that is. It's like some kind of it's like some kind of computer-ish thingy behind it, because a remote event can send things from the client to the server and from the server back to the client. The server is these things. The servers, uh, like the server, is non-accessible by the client, and the client is when you ro load up Roblox Studio. For example, you go into Jailbreak. Um, what you're playing, that's client-sided, you know. So that should be a pretty good explanation, and the client cannot see the server. Like, never. So, if you have some guy explaining, hey, I, I saw your server, that's not possible. You get my point. So, let's get on with remote events. As you can see, arch, uh, archivable, if I pronounce that good, the class name is remote event. You cannot change that because the remote event is a remote event. The name, you can change it to whatever you want. As you can see, it will change over here, but we're just going to change that back to remote event. You can also change the parent, and if you would set it to workspace, it will move to workspace. But remote events are the best to be placed in replicated storage, because um, if you put it in server storage, th that will not work, because if you want to send data from the client to the server, that won't work, because the client doesn't know what a server is, and... Client and server do know what a replicated storage is, so it is really good um, to keep caution on that and make sure to put all of your remote events in replicated storage. Got it? Thank you. So today I want to show you how you can send data from the server to the client. To do that, you want to insert a script into server script service, as you can see, and you get this print hello world thingy, which is really cool. You can just delete that, it's, it's not useful. So first of all, we need to wait for a player to load. So we can do local players, is it the game, call on get service, players, there we go. Now you can do players, and as you can see, dot player added, and player added is basically just waiting for a player, so player added, call on connect. We need to make a function out of that function, and we can do player, enter. You should get this automatic end if you don't add it yourselves or you did a grammar mistake but just make sure to keep caution on those little typos because i got a lot of i got a lot of people like hey why doesn't it work and apparently it will be a semi uh, colon instead of a colon you know uh i did it wrong okay there so now we need to what we're going to be doing we're going to be sending the player's name to the client and that's pretty easy so you can do local let's do local player name it's because that player dot name there you go and over here you can do local replicated storage we're going to be waiting for replicated storage to load in get service replicated storage now we can do replicated storage dot remote event as you can see our this is our remote event we're going to be fire client as you can see, you can do fire all clients. It will be sent to every player. But you can also do fire client to only for that specific player. And we're going to be sending the player name. 
but we're gonna be send we're gonna be sending this to the player. So we want to do player, comma, player name. We need to, we need to send it to the player, and we're gonna be sending some new data after that. So we're gonna be sending it to the player, then the player name. Now you can go into search your GUI. You can add in a local script, and over here you can type again this. We're gonna be copy pasting this. Boom. Now we can do replicate a search dot remote event dot on client event and on client event basically means it will be searching for the client and only activate on the client but you cannot do on server event as you can see because this is a local script and local scripts are only client sided on client event call connect function and now we want to define the player name so we can just do player name because we've sent it to the player so the player is not going to be an argument at all so we're just going to be sending player name enter now we can do print player name and what what will this print you may know ask whatever is it, it should print your roblox username so let's click play and let's press f9 and as you can see newbie.pdf on the client and of course it will show up for the server but that's just because roblox studio is just like that so that is really cool so as you can see that worked so now what we can do we can send it back yes we actually can so we can kind of discuss what should we send back so basically once the player name is printed um i'm just gonna do dot dot client sided so just so you know this will be client sided so if we will click play it should print newbie dev client sided as you can see, newbie.pdf client sided. So you know that is the client. Okay? Got it. Now we can do replicate search dot remote event. And now you can do fire server. And it will fire it back to the server. And you can basically do whatever you want in here. But not things like these and then that. That's just not going to work. You we are, we want to send some kind of argument. And in this case, I want to type, I like pancakes. And I want to fire to the server that I like pancakes. Back into the server script, over here, we can do replicated storage dot remote event on server event, because this is the server and we're going to be picking up on a server. Dot on server event, comma connect, function, and the automatic argument is the players. As you can see, function player is player. So anything you type in here first is the player. You can do player and the argument. Enter. And yep, there we go. And as you can see, the player, th th that's just an automatic argument from Roblox. It makes it a player. So now we just want to do print argument dot dot server sided. And as you can see, now that is done, we can click play. And as you can see, it will print out our Roblox name, client sided, and I like pancakes. So, yep, as you can see, I like pancakes, server sided. So, basically, what we've done, we've made a small loop. Once you join the game, we're going to be sending your player name. And over here, we're picking that up. And we're going to be printing the player's name. Then we're going to be sending back that I like my pancakes. Over here, we're picking that up in the server and we're printing that. If you want a good demonstration, uh, you could also do run and then go to your output and that did not specific, uh, specifically work you want to join your game that was my bad I got a lot of errors as you, as you can see this is blue which makes it client and this is the server which makes it green so you got blue and green so basically this is the basic stuff you need to know about a remote event as you can see, this is what you can do with it. You can send a lot of things. And for example, if you want to buy something, you can fire that buy over here and take the money away on the server, which is really cool. So if you did in fact enjoy this video about the new exploring series, make sure to like and subscribe, as I said. And all I can say is that my name is Newbie, and I say peace out.